Did you ever deploy a Docker image to production and later you found some critical security issues after the Docker image is in production? In this video, I'll show you how to enable container scanning in GitLab CI to catch vulnerabilities before they reach production. So let's dive in and see how we can make our Docker images safer through GitLab CI. Container scanning is a way to check for security issues in the external dependencies your code depends on like the packages and libraries you didn't write so suppose your applications docker image may depends on another docker image and that docker image may contain some known vulnerabilities so gitlab does provides you a way to scan your docker images through gitlab ci and once the scanning is completed gitlab will provides you a detailed report of all the known vulnerabilities gitlab found so let's start integrating the container scanning inside our gitlab ci here i am in my gitlab dashboard i have created a repository called with lal and inside this repository i have this docker file inside this docker file i have used this python alpine image so what we will do in this demo is that we will build the docker image from this docker file which will actually import the python alpine image and then we will push this docker image to the gitlab container registry and once the container image is pushed to the container registry we will start scanning that push docker image through container scanner now to start integrating the container scanner i'll move to the build and then I'll go to the pipeline editor then I'll click on configure pipeline I'll remove all these existing stuff to integrate the container scanning GitLab provides you a predefined template which you can include in your GitLab CI file here I'm including a template from the GitLab predefined templates called jobs and then slash container scanning GitLab CI .yml. so let's commit this and see how this affect our pipeline now I'll switch to the pipelines and you can see the pipeline is running and if I go to the details I can see that GitLab has added this container scanning job which I didn't add explicitly but since I have included that template from the GitLab predefined templates and it's adding this container scanning job and it's coming under the test stage so now if I click on this container scanning job and I go to the details I can see that this job has some warnings and the job has failed so let's dig down this more and see See what issues we are getting first what it does that it's preparing the docker executor environment and also notice that to scan your docker images you must have either a docker executor or a kubernetes executor so one of these two executors are required you should have a docker executor or a kubernetes executor to scan your container images then next it will pull the docker image from this registry.gitlab.com first it will download this container image and and then it will log into that container image then it will pull this repository and after the repository is pulled it will start looking for a docker image based on this repository and the default branch which is the main branch if we go down to the details you can see here that the image localhost 5001 which is the registry url for my gitlab setup and then under the root it's the build with lal repository so you can confirm it here under the root i have this build with lal repo the current branch name is main and then this is the current tag for this active commit so what the gitlab scanner does that it's looking for this docker image on the gitlab registry localhost 5001 and this repository and then main but if you remember from our ci file here we are not building or pushing our docker image to the gitlab container registry to scan our docker image first we need to build our docker image from the docker file which exists in our repository root directory then we need to push that docker image to the gitlab container registry we are under the build stage i am using the docker image to log into the container registry then i am building my docker image from the docker file and then i am pushing that docker image from my repository to the gitlab container registry let's come this and see if it could resolve the container scanning issues i'll go back to the pipelines now i'll go back to the details of the pipeline and here you can see that since i have added this build stage now it's first running the build job if the build job gets successful then it will start scanning the container image build is successful and if you go to the build details you can see here that the image is first built then that image is pushed to the container registry and if you go back to the container scanning you can see that the container scanning still fails and it should throw that same error that it's not able to find the container image inside the 
the GitLab registry. The reason is by default, the container scanning is looking for this image URL, which is the default branch main and then the full commit tag ID. But if we go to our build job, you can see here that we are not referencing any default branch here but instead we are pushing our docker image to localhost 5001 root build with log until here it's matching with what the container scanner is looking for but after that the container scanning is expecting that this docker image is pushed under the same branch name but here you can see that we are only adding the first eight characters from the commit tag id and if we go to the container registry under this repository you can see here that we we are not tagging any branch name here but instead we are tagging the commit first eight characters so let's go back to the container scanning details see what they are suggesting for fixing this issue so if you can see here that this image is not found instead of this man we should have just a colon here and then the first character of the image and here it is suggesting that to change the image being scanned like whatever docker image you want to scan use the cs image environment variable so we need to override this cs image environment variable in our ci file to whatever docker image url we have in our container registry i'll move back to the pipeline editor i'll override the container scanning job under the before script i'll set the cs image which the container scanning has suggested that if you have your docker image in a different path you can override the cs image to whatever url your docker image has i'm setting this to the same url ci registry image and here it's ci registry image and then here we are tagging this docker image with the first eight characters of the commit tag and i'm doing that same slicing here as well and the reason i'm not overriding this variable here to something like this this should work if you need to override any variable in your gitlab ci job but the reason it's not working here is we are actually doing some string manipulation here by slicing the commit tag to first eight characters and inside the variables you can only assign like literal strings and integers and boolean the string manipulation will actually will not work here to overcome this issue i am overriding the before script and inside the before script i am running this script to export the cs image to this docker image variable i'll remove the variable since we don't need it i'll commit these changes and i'll go back to the pipelines i'll go to the details now the build is successful so we should have our docker image in the gitlab registry and now if we go to the container scanning details you can see that this time the container scanning is successful and the reason is it has found the docker image we just pushed to the container registry since we override the cs image variable through the before script that actually resolved the image finding issue and here you can see that first it's exporting the cs image variable to whatever url for this docker image we have inside the gitlab container registry and then it's running this command gtcs scan gtcs scan will actually start running the scanner on this this image from the cs image variable and here you can see all the vulnerabilities the gitlab scanner has found if i make it a full screen you can see here that this vulnerability has a severity level low if you go down you can see there is another vulnerability with the severity level low at the end you can see that it's uploading the file to the artifacts of the pipeline here the gitlab scanner has generated this file called gl container scanning report .json. if you need to use it for some purpose inside this pipeline Pipeline, you can reference to this file inside your artifacts and you can run queries on this report file now you will notice here that this scanner report has actually reported the vulnerabilities with low severities in case you want to report only like the medium or high severity vulnerabilities you can go to your pipeline editor under the container scanning you can override a variable called cs severity threshold so by default it's set to unknown when it is set to unknown it it will actually report all the vulnerabilities including low medium and high but in case you want to override the severity level you can set it to medium so if i set it to medium this will report only medium and high severities if you set it to high this will only report vulnerabilities with high severity let's set it to medium and see how this affect the vulnerability report
now i'll go to the container scanning details so now here you can see that we do not have any report on the container scanner vulnerabilities and the reason is the severity level is set to medium this scanner will actually scan the docker image for medium or higher severity levels only and it will not report any other severities below medium now let's switch back to our docker file and instead of using the python 3.10 alpine we can use some other docker image which has like some more high severity vulnerabilities i'll edit this docker file here and instead of python 3.10 alpine i'll use this other image called vulnerables web dvwa and here instead of python version i'll just echo scan me so let's commit these changes and let's go back to the pipelines go to the details the container scanning is running and since we have set the severity level to medium and this docker image may have some high level severities so this time it should report some vulnerabilities and here the scanner has reported some vulnerability report and if i make it a full screen you can see here that there are some critical issues and then there we have some vulnerabilities with high severity and we also have some vulnerabilities with medium severity this way you can change the level of uh, vulnerability severity level and based on your use case you can find out what vulnerability severity level you are interested in and then based on that setting the gitlab scanner will actually report all those vulnerabilities now one thing you guys may have noticed that even this docker image has vulnerabilities and even with some high and even some critical severity level but the pipeline still passes and you can see here that this container scanning job is green and it's marked as passed and even the whole pipeline is passed but we may mentioned at the beginning of this video that we should restrict these docker images from production and that was the whole point of this container scanning so what we can do to restrict this docker image from production if the docker image has some high or maybe some medium severity level vulnerabilities for that what i'll do is that i'll go to the pipeline editor and under the container scanning job i'll add this variable called allow failure pass by default the allow failure is set to true and if the job script does not exist the job is actually not marked as failed i am setting this to false here to force pipeline to fail if the job fails so let's commit this and see how it affect the pipeline and here you can notice that even after adding the allow failure to files the container scanning is still marked as fast the reason is as i mentioned that that flag will only work if the script inside this job is exited and if you go to the details of this job actually the script is not exiting and it's telling that the job is succeeded so we need some way to actually exit this job script if there are like maybe like some medium or some high severity vulnerabilities and gitlab does does not do that by default gitlab only provides you a report of all the vulnerabilities the gitlab scanner has found in your docker image that's totally up to you like on what basis you want to exit your container scanning job and you don't want to push to the production so suppose if my docker image has like vulnerabilities with a high severity i don't want to push that docker image to production or maybe you guys may need to restrict the docker image from production if the docker image has vulnerabilities vulnerabilities with high severity so we need to actually parse this gl container scanning report file which is available under the artifacts for this pipeline then we need to find out if there are like high vulnerabilities or if there are like medium vulnerabilities then based on that count we can decide whether we should exit this job or we should pass this job if the job exits then the pipeline will actually fails and it will not go to the next stage which could be the deploy stage first i'll add the deploy stage here to make sure that even if the container scanner has found vulnerabilities the deployment still happens and the docker image actually goes to the production i'm adding this deploy stage here this is a dummy deploy where we have set the stage to deploy and i'm using this image alpine and i'm just echoing that that this image is deployed first it will run the build stage so the docker image will be built based on our docker file then it will be pushed to the container registry once it is pushed to the 
container registry then this test stage will actually start running and this will scan or docker image from this url if this job gets successful then the deployment stage will actually happen and potentially this should actually deploy this docker image to this production server let's commit these changes so let's go to the pipelines in the pipeline details and here you can see that the image is built and pushed to a registry now the container scanning is running and ideally if the container scanner finds any vulnerabilities maybe like with high severity the docker image should not be pushed to the production and the deploy stage should actually not happen at all but here you can see that the container scanning is successful and since this is marked as passed the deploy stage actually happens but if you go to the container scanning details we can see that we have all these vulnerabilities with high medium and critical severity this means that we have actually all these vulnerabilities but since the script does not exit and we are not deciding based on this vulnerability report whether we should push to the production and the deploy stage should happen or not and for that reason actually the deploy happens as well because this job is marked as passed now we need some way to actually exit this job if there are medium or high level severity vulnerabilities i'll switch back to the pipeline editor and since we need to decide whether the script part should be exited or it should be passed we need to override the script section of the container scanning under the script part first we will run the gtcs scan command which is the only command actually this template is running by default so first i'm overriding that gtcs scan command from here and then what i'm doing is that i'm picking that gl container scanning report.json which is available under the artifacts in this pipeline first i'm looking for the vulnerabilities with severity level high and i'm using the jq library here to parse this json file so here i'll have the count of high severity vulnerabilities next i'm checking the vulnerability count that if the high severity count is greater than zero this means that the scanner has found some high severity vulnerabilities and here i'm exiting actually this script by exiting this script this will actually exit this job as well and the job will be marked as failed and if the job is marked as failed the next stage will actually not happen which is actually the deployment stage here you can notice that i'm using this jq library so this jq library is not available by default in the scanner image which is used from this template so what i need to do is that under the before script first i need to install this jq library so here i'm updating the repositories and then i'm installing the jq library with the apt get install jq and i think now we should be good so first we're installing the library and then based on their jq library we are parsing this reports file and we are counting the high severity vulnerabilities and if the high severity vulnerabilities are greater than zero that means we have some high severity vulnerabilities and we will actually exit the script and if we don't have any high severity vulnerabilities we don't exit the script but instead we just passed this message no high severity found so now if this container scanning job fails this deploy stage will actually not be running if this container scanning job gets successful then only this deploy stage should be executed now let's commit these changes go to the pipelines pipeline details and now we have all these three stages build test and deploy since we have some high severity vulnerabilities inside that docker image so this container scanning job should be failed and here you can see that this container scanning actually failed because we have exited the script and as you know that that docker image has some critical and high severity vulnerabilities and the deploy stage is actually skipped this way we have restricted this docker image to be pushed to the production because this docker image has some security vulnerabilities so now let's switch back to the docker file and set it back to the python alpine where that python alpine image does not have any medium or high level severity vulnerabilities so i'll switch back to this docker file i'll edit this and i'll replace this image with python 310 alpine i'll commit this and now the pipeline should be running again go to the pipeline details now the container scanning will only be failed if this docker image which we have mentioned in our docker file 
has any vulnerability with high severity and if the docker image does not have any high severity vulnerabilities this container scanning should be passed and the deploy stage should be happening here you can see that the container scanning is passed and if you go to the details you can see that we have set the severity level to medium or high but since this docker image python 310 alpine does not have any medium or high severity vulnerabilities the container scanning actually get passed and now the deployment stage is happening and the job is successfully deployed so this way you can actually put a container scanning between your build and your deploy stage and based on different conditions and your use case you can decide whether this docker image should be pushed to production or not based on the security vulnerabilities so this was a very customized way because gitlab does not provide you any ready-made method for deciding whether the docker image should be pushed or not or how you can mark this container scanning job as successful or failed so you can introduce this custom script here by overriding the container scanning job and in introducing this jq library and doing some file parsing and counting the different level vulnerabilities